here we are day 135 so I did do day 134 I just forgot to upload it yesterday because I got way too distracted being Bob the Builder and yeah so now I got my three cube thing it's like a like a, a bookcase like a three thing bookcase but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it horizontally and mount it on the wall and use it for storage um just because there is a lack of storage here and so that is the plan for this but the thing is is that I realized last night as I was like trying to mount it on the wall that I only I don't have enough arms I don't have enough arms I couldn't do it so um I'm gonna get my sister to help me because I'm just like I was there like trying I was even like using my leg and everything and it was just not, it wasn't working so Today we're going to talk about why all my food heats up in the air fryer. We are going to talk about chapter three. So chapter three of um, When I Grow So Do You, but just this on Amazon, link is in bio. You guys, if you've been watching up until now, you know where to find it. And if you already have it, why don't you just like open up the book and follow along um, and maybe do some journal prompts, maybe see what comes up for you because... I do find that sometimes when you do the book at one stage in your life, you know, you see things from one perspective, you see things from a certain way, and then things happen, your life changes, things shift, and you go back to it, and it's like the answers will may or may not change, or you might get a different aha moment, a different view, a different perspective as to what I was saying. You might read something, you might see it differently than what you initially when you first read it so that is kind of cool about what why I love like these like you know I love writing these kind of books but I also like why I love reading the type of books like that and so anyways um let's get to it so the chapter three is your vision your life um, I'm going to combine that with the vision board so chapter three and four will kind of combine together so chapter three is all about creating your own your vision like what do you desire out of your life like what is it right now that is amazing and what like what would you like to for it to be even more amazing um I do follow Amanda Francis and she's like well this amazing coach and she says like yeah you can have it all and we think for some reason in this lifetime that we need to sacrifice certain things that we need to like you know, like put certain dreams away or certain desires away because, you know, like we're not supposed to have it or because of money, because of time, because, um, because we can't have one without the other. Like we can't be like, we can't be that and that. And I feel like that we just put ourselves in boxes by doing that, that you need to just be like one thing. Like, Oh, but if you're like an entrepreneur, you can only do this, but that's not true. You can do so much and you can have it all. You can have all that you desire. Does not mean that, you know, to like living a successful life that, you know, like you, like you have to like, you know, you can't have certain things like you can't be a parent or you can't have the white picket fence or you know what I mean like there's just so many things in our society that you know a, like kind of puts us into these boxes that we need to like sacrifice something but we actually don't and we can't have all the things we desire like if you want to run your own business if you you know want to like go up the corporate ladder and be a VP president of XYZ go ahead like you can have that and even if for some reason in your current reality it doesn't feel like it's actually possible it is possible because everything is possible and the only thing that we know is what is actually presented in front of us right but the amount of possibilities is everything and everything and so this is like kind of where we get stuck is because we only see examples of what we've been through, what we've experienced, and also examples of what other people have experienced around us. And those are the only examples that we have. But And so when we have that, we are easily put ourselves in this box. But what if there's something even better? What if there's something even more amazing that, yes, we can have all that we desire and it does exist, what if that's possible? And so I just 
want to open up your mind to this and even when you do the journal prompts of this chapter like really think of like what would be amazing like I kept saying you know I'm like imagine like my next place that I get is free rent I'm not paying rent I'm not paying rent here and I'm getting paid to do the the caretaking cleaning I manifest that I didn't like, you know, there was like in a logical sense of way, right? In a like, in Tofino's reality, that is not, that wasn't imaginable. But I was like, you know what, what if I can make that happen? Do you like this? My hair, it's my hair, my hair's wet. Um... (laughs) Just noticing it like on the side, it just gets bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh, welcome to Julie's lives. But like honestly, like it's not something I would have expected. It was like I was playing around with it. I was playing around with that manifestation of like what if I can have a place that is free? What if I can manifest that? And I did. I manifested free rent. And getting paid on top of it. So You are the creator of your own reality. You choose how you want to live your life. You can play around with it. Think of the one thing that you're like, nah, nah, that's not going to like, that's not possible. And put it out there and let me know. See what happens. So this is day 135. Oh, also forgot vision board. Um, Yeah. So once you do the journal prompts, it is fun to create a vision board and vision boards are so much fun. It also like kind of puts it out there, puts it into like this into like out into the universe because it's visual and we are like and we love seeing using our senses um play around with it pinterest or buy like a cork board or buy a bristle board and just like or put photos off your wall whatever it is it just visually it just kind of like using our senses so not only our mind but our eyes to like and like and me creating the vision board of using our touch it's like almost like it sets the the ball rolling. And so anyways, this is day 135. I am now complete. <laughs> and today I'm having a haircut. Julie's finally getting a haircut. And so it'll be really nice. I'm like so excited. Okay. Speak to you guys tomorrow for day 136. Bye.